Hello boys and girls and welcome back to Robin's Taste. Today we're gonna see what movie to review for you guys with help of Wheel of Fate. Also known as Wheel Decide, but whatever, Wheel of Fate sounds so much more cooler. Are you guys ready? Goody goody. Let's roll. Sweet, over the top. I expect this movie to be really cool because Canon films are damn awesome and even though this movie was a big flop on the box office it's gonna be interesting to check it out because it has this cult status that I uh, really much look forward to see. This can actually be very entertaining. So, I saw the movie Over the Top starring Sylvester Stallone Basically, the plot is that Sylvester is playing a guy known as Hawks, who's an arm wrestling person slash truck driver. And the thing is that he's trying to reconcile with his son, who he hasn't met for 10 years. The only problem is that Robert Losha, who plays the son's grandfather, took over the role as the, uh, the father in the kid's life. What happens is basically kind of a trial movie, where they're both trying to take over the custody of the kid. And it becomes a moral dilemma that is very interesting. And in a form of way, I'm actually on the villain's side here, because Robert Losha is really interesting as the grandfather. And I can totally see why he wants to be the father, because he's been the father for so many years and it worked out great. Anyways, it's an interesting movie, but something happens towards the end of the picture. Since the movie doesn't have enough action scenes, they must have some sort of confrontation. So, Robert Losha, uh, who I call the grandfather all the time, basically becomes an asshole. He starts to threaten people and he starts to say, you know what, you're a bad uh, role model, I'm gonna kill you if you try to get close to that kid, basically. And then I lost interest in it, because then it sort of became too ordinary and too straight. I wanted to have sort of an interesting dilemma going on here, but sadly it was cut out and they had to throw in more action because that is what Canon is best in doing and it just didn't work out for me, personally. But the film is still interesting and it is definitely over the top, so check out this rather bizarre sensation. So I get 3 out of 5 stars.